Hello, this is Paul from Quicken Mobile, and we're going to be going over an overview of the Lexus Light Folding Mobility Scooter. Starting from the scooter itself, features to folding the scooter, unfolding the scooter, and to breaking the scooter into separate parts for easy lifting. The first feature that I would like to focus on is the front of the scooter. You have a removable battery that comes with the scooter. You lift and you remove. By lifting the handle of the battery, the safety mechanisms disengage and allow you to slide the battery out. Putting the battery in is very simple. Taking a look at the tiller itself, it's just as easy as the battery. You have a key that allows you to turn the device on and as soon as it's on you have the, the red light indicating power and you have the fuel cell for the battery as well. Taking a look at the tiller again, it's very easy to, there's a little knob on the front here, to turn the speed up to whatever speed would be the best for you. And there is a single lever that allows you to press one way to go forward and press the other way to go back. And if we take a look down at the floor at the steering range, the actual steering column does have a pretty impressive turning radius and turning ability. So I have a lot of control while I'm driving and two more features that we're going to point out before we fold the Lexus light up is the ability when the battery is engaged to go into drive or freewheel. Drive locks the scooter and allows it to be a power scooter freewheel allows me with my hands to push the scooter back and forth very easily. And if we take a look one more time right down at the bottom of the tiller, we see a locking mechanism and we see a sprocket that has several perforations that allows for different control settings. So the first thing that we're going to do is we're going to lift up on this little notch that's on the left side of the, the steering column once I turn the Lexus light off and that will allow you to have the steering column in different positions that are most comfortable for you. So to fold the scooter up, the first thing that I would like to do is remove the battery and remove the basket and we're going to take a look underneath the scooter for another lock. You can have two handles here and you can see that they are in the locked position. I need to unlock this lock, which I do by folding the back of the seat forward. That allows me to disengage the back of the scooter. So let's just take a look at that one more time, at the lock itself. I need for this lock right here to disengage so I can fold the scooter so I'm going to fold the back of the seat forward. Now that I've folded the back of the seat forward I want to allow the steering column the flexibility as well so I'm going to lift up and disengage that and at that point I can just roll the back of the scooter forward and we're going to see two latches up close. This is the first latch. The steering column has a little groove. I want it to slip into that groove so I can lock it. You can see right there. And then we have another lock and key device that I want to make certain to locate in the actual scooter's body. And you can see that the scooter itself is one solid piece at this point in time. And it's a solid piece that would allow you when it has its bag to be dragged around an airport behind you as luggage. Unfolding the device is going to require a couple of steps. Again, I want to disengage the steering column and I want to make certain to disengage the rear part of the scooter. And what I want to do is I want to have the scooter wheels disengage while this is unlocked and I want the scooter to gently make contact with the ground so I can just start to roll the scooter back disengage here 
lock the seat in the back position, and there you go, ready to put the battery back on. You can see that I did not crouch down or do anything like that. There's several things I could have done to make it maybe a little bit easier, but what I wanted to do was stay standing up and show you just with a little bit of effort, it's very easy to open that Lexus light. So now we're going to do a separate thing. We're going to take the battery off, and I want to actually take a look more toward the front of the scooter. So before I fold it up this time, we're going to lift up on the steering column adjuster. We're going to take a look at this little gauge right here that is going to allow me to lift the Lexus light right out of socket. It's going to lift it right up. For safety reasons, it will allow you to lift this gauge right here. I like to lift right up and bring the front of the scooter back. And then what I can do here, with this part that weighs approximately 24 pounds, I can let that sit for right now before I additionally fold it up. And I have unlocked this part. I am going to get this part folded up and locked into place as well. So I have three separate parts in essence that when broken down are very easy and very compact to lift and carry and deal with. I want to be very gentle of course and to put the scooter back together we're going to make this process just a little bit quicker. We unfold, we unlatch and we disengage and we unfold here. Once we have the seat in the position we want the seat, we lock it into place. We disengage here on the steering column, drop that part directly down, engage the steering column, and it is locked. Put the steering column back, put the battery in, turn the key, and your Lexus light is ready to roll.